we're on our way to the Tesla supercharger tonight. It is Saturday, March 16th. The rumor is Monday, March 18th, uh, Rivian will get access to the Tesla superchargers. That's when it will officially open. And um, there was an update pushed to the Rivian there yesterday, or mine yesterday, uh, that, that said something along the lines of Tesla superchargers. Apparently it adds Tesla superchargers to the navigation and it will only add ones that are available once they're available, it says. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that Tesla superchargers were already in the navigation, so I'm not real sure what that update was for. Um, I believe Magic Dot locations were already in the Rivian nav and are not, you know, nothing changed there. Um, maybe they're preparing for when the, the switch is flipped on Monday, which I'm, a lot of signs are pointing toward it may happen Monday, but um, I, maybe the, the software is, uh, you know, getting ready for that flip, that switch to be flipped on Monday um, to, you know, start showing other chargers that are available with an adapter. So um, I wanted to try the other day uh, to, to plug my Rivian in to the Tesla supercharger just to see if it would charge. And um, someone had, had texted me and said, yeah, I tried, it didn't work. And I was like, okay, well then there's really no point in me trying it. But now that the update has happened, I wanna see if anything has changed. Um, I know on the Tesla app, I can't authorize a Rivian. I can't, there's nothing I can do as far as that goes. Um, but what I could do is tell it that I'm charging my Lightning and then perhaps it will authorize the Rivian because it, it should have access within the next few days. So maybe the certificate's already here with that update. Grasping at straws. But I want to try it. I just want to, you know, for my own reference, um, you know, the way the, the way the world works these days, especially with EV videos, is you got to be the first to put the video up uh, to get any amount of views on it. And uh, there's a lot of competition with people going to be first about doing it. So um, I'm going to think outside the box. I'm going to try my own little idea here. If it works, then I will be the first video up. And if not, um, well, we'll wait till Monday. No big deal. I'm going to post this anyway. I could have swore I made a segment like this in the lightning video, but when I edited it, I could not find this particular clip. So let's try again. This right here is the exit for the supercharger. And as you will see, supercharger is right here off the exit. You couldn't get any better with this setup. We'll pull right up here to the stop sign. And my bright lights decide to come on. That's okay. And you see the supercharger's right over there. We'll pull into this gas station. Ironically, to not get gas. And go test the supercharger. And there's no one here, again. We kind of expected that though. Well, let's recap what happened. It didn't work. Um, I mean, I immediately got an unauthorized vehicle error, which uh, is what happened the other day before the software update. So um, I pretty much knew at that point that it wasn't going to work, but I kept trying it. I did try two more times. Um, at some point my Rivian went to sleep and so it just wouldn't communicate at all at that point so it gave up <laughs> but um I don't know if I would have kept messing with it maybe it would have worked I'm I don't think so because the unauthorized vehicle message is the same thing it was doing the other day before the update and um and we knew that you know it wasn't going to work until it's authorized so um Monday rolls around, we'll come back and do it again for sure, and uh, hopefully hopefully it actually is Monday that it gets released, I don't know. But uh, it was definitely worth a try, I think, and uh, we'll see how it pans out in the future. So we are testing it again. I'm not sure if I'll use the video I made the other night. We got a green. So this was full plug and charge. There was no activation on the app needed at all. I just plugged it in and it started charging. So let's go in. It is 37 degrees outside and I didn't warm the, the truck up at all. So we're getting about 30 kilowatt and we are at a high state of charge, 71. But it's working. 
and that's all I have to care about. Um, so plug and charge for Rivian comes on by default, um, already enabled, don't have to do anything special to make it work. And um, you just pull up to the supercharger and pull again. I decided to pull in this way because I wouldn't be blocking the next stall over. There is someone over there where I normally go, so I didn't want to be right up on top of him. But yeah, let's gain a couple percent. Um, I wonder if the Rivian app, I have Kyle here. He's currently AFK and he'll probably come back and go, who are you talking to? Um, <laughs> I wonder if the app shows, um, I mean, I don't see anything here about charging. I guess I could go to the charging screen. The app doesn't know how fast I'm getting. Now, 29. I'm just wondering if there's any information about cost here. Oh, there's cost, zero. So we'll wait and see. This guy in the Tesla is leaving now. This um, charging handle, because I've only been testing the one over there, the very end one. This charging handle was a lot easier to put into the adapter than any of the others. Um, so yeah. And the truck, obviously, the battery's not warm or anything like that. I, I assume it's going to be warming to try to get a better speed, but we have gained 1% so far. Ends in 40 minutes. We are set to 85%. Was showing 30 kilowatt, and then it jumped right off, so I have no clue. 30 kilowatt. And now cost is 45 cent. That's pretty cool. Honestly, um, you know, Ford, Ford does support plug and charge like this, but um, it doesn't work for my truck. I can't seem to get plug and charge enabled for some reason. Just another one of Ford's crazy bugs. Um, didn't have to do anything for Rivian. Uh, we got the notice today that Rivian now has access. Um, and that's it. I mean, you just, you just go and plug in. That's pretty much it. Um, they did say in their email that in the coming weeks, they would let you know how to order your free adapter, um, which I was really hopeful that Rivian would do a better rollout of this than Ford did. But at least Ford allowed you to order it the day it was available. Rivian, you're going to have to wait weeks to place an order for the adapter. So I am using the A2Z adapter. Kyle is back. <laughs> I am using the A2Z adapter. And it uh, seems to be working good. So we'll charge here for a few minutes. Uh, just give it a good test. And I'll let you guys know the total cost when we're done. All right. So um, I just want to point this out. I was looking on the app trying to figure out, you know, can I see how much energy was delivered so far? We, we have gone up to 32 kilowatt. Um, okay. Now it's actually showing an energy reporting. A minute ago it was not. So I was like, how do I know how much I've gotten? And then the, the cost obviously has updated as well. Um, but then I noticed that I could come here on the screen and hit session summary. Not only does it show energy delivered and where it's gone, but it now shows the cost, which is just all new to me. That probably works at the Tesla or the Rivian Adventure Network, but I've not actually paid for the Rivian Adventure Network yet. So all new, but um, just wanted to show that off. All right, that was just a quick test. I actually stopped charging in the truck or in the Rivian, so I don't have to worry about it. And um, yeah, see if I can pull this adapter off of one hand and not drop it. I cannot. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I can. Anyway, uh, just, just wanted to test this. Honestly, um, personal opinion, I think integration with Rivian is way easier than with Tesla. I mean, with Ford. Uh, it's almost like driving a Tesla. I mean, if it, if it authorizes on its own and plug and charge, easy. Um, not quite as cheap as a Tesla, but <laughs> but still as easy, and I like that. So um, this is going to get some use. I, I can tell you that right now. We're going to go. We're going to go places now. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later.